Welcome to WebAR Playground. In this video, you will learn how to create AR content without being a web dev or a programmer. So we have this crazy idea that anybody can do AR, and that's why we've created the WebAR Playground. In this blog post, we explain a little bit about it and how you can use it to create your own AR content in a few easy steps and share it with your friends on the web. So in this video, I'm gonna just take you through it. And what you need to do is come to the WebXR.io homepage just right here, beautiful homepage for the time being, and launch the WebAR Playground. Um, so you can see create augmented reality in a few clicks with ARJS. And we're going to launch it. Now that we've launched it, we're going to go through the menus and explain the UI step by step. So the first menu here is create object menu down here to the left. And you can see the different 3D models that you will be able to add to your scene. Uh, Minecraft, GLTF models, all of them, like they're, some of them are pretty fine. We've downloaded from Sketchfab. Um, you have magic windows and even holograms. Uh, this menu right here, the area menu, um, is where you can learn the area and help you. it will help you for the tracking. You launch this here, the learner, and it will track, localize the markers, the area markers that you have. You can see in this case, I have them on my iPad. You can, you can print them if you want, uh, but always make sure to learn them first. Um, so when that's, once that's done, you click to come back and in the options menu here, we're going to see that one later, you have um, reset AR, so that will reset the scene. Um, you have export the share URL or toggle full screen, and you have the share also on social media because shareability is a very important part of WebAR Playground. And this last menu here are the current objects that you see on your scene. Um, at the time being, we don't have any, uh, but once you start adding, you will see um, all of your 3D here. So now that we've learned the UI, let's try to create our own scene, our first scene. So we're going to come back to the create object menu. And for example, let's say we want to add a simple geometric shape, like a glass to one at first. You can see it appear in our current object menu. And just to place it, you just click wherever you want it to appear. And you can see that thanks to ARJS, the multi-marker, it's pretty stable. Uh, let's say I want to place it here and then I drag my mouse up and down to scale it like this um, to show you the rotation I'm going to choose go back and choose an object uh, that's not rotating already like the damaged helmet so I click where I want to place it and I rotate it here you know from left to right you can see that's going on very well um, and then I want to delete both of them so I just click on the X next to their names. And let's say that I want to add, I don't know, um, a pool in the middle. Uh, you have the pool there, you scale it. So you have the dog and the fishies there. Uh, let's see, I want to go back and add like a bouncing ball there. Uh, so that's a weird model. I don't know what you can do with that. Get creative. So what other sort of things you guys can add? You can add holograms, you can add magic windows. Those are like the different kind of portals, like uh, the holes in the wall. Let's make them bigger here. And when you drag your mouse, like when you drag your head, you can see them from different angles. Okay. Uh, but let's say I want to add Minecraft and you can add Batman or Superman or Mario. In this case, let's add Batman here. I want to scale him for him to be bigger in the screen. And um, let's say that he's going to want to ride. So looking at the GLTF models, I want to add this cool looking steampunk explorer vehicle. And oh, froze. there you go, I'm back. So you can scale it like that. Um, but wait, hey, that's not the Batmobile. Uh, so let's just delete that from the scene. Um, he wants to call Alfred. Uh, where's Alfred? He really wants this ride. So you're going to put like a centurion, but hey man, you're not Alfred. Um, you can still scale him. You can position him whenever you want, rotate him to face Batman. Um, but let's concentrate on get, getting Minecraft Batman a ride. So um, he wants to fly. So you can add this really cool Buster drone that we found. Scale it there. And it has a little animation that you can use. So this is all pretty neat. And you can come here to the options and reset that completely. So you can start all over again with your scene. Or you can export the URL or you can share it on Twitter or on Facebook. Um, so you can like 
make your scene accessible to anybody else. Um, and the people that have the URL can come into your scene and edit on top of it. So it is a pretty cool tool that you can use. Um, now let's see, let's try to transfer this scene that we have uh, somewhere else so you can see how easy it is. Okay, so to transfer the scene, we're going to go and click again in the learn area button and you see the markers that I have on the floor. It's going to learn its position and it's going to track them. And once that process is done, there you go, it's scanning. And when you come back, you have the same scene that you had on the laptop on your desktop, you have it on the floor. And this time with bigger markers, uh, with printed markers, we can scale the Minecraft Batman, have him look at us a little bit more. Um, we can edit the scene however we want to, so we can even choose the other 3D object on the scene, the Buster drone, and make him bigger, edit his position. Oh, let's not have him interfere with the Batman, so let's just place him here. Yeah, and there you have a big 3D scene in the middle of your living room done with WebAR Playground, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye.